Stan Porter is one of the lucky ones. At 65 years of age, he's been living with diabetes for most of his adult life. Today, he's come to check in with his chiropodist, Kyle Wagler. Morning, Stan. Morning, Kyle. Come on in. For a treatment that has been nothing short of a lifesaver for him. Busy day, yep, very busy. It was about five years ago that Stan discovered he had a diabetic foot ulcer, something that over one and a half million Canadians of the roughly 11 million who have diabetes are at risk of developing. So how are the feet doing? A little bit sore. A little sore. My foot swelled up so much that I couldn't get it into a boot or a shoe. And I don't care whose boot it was, my foot was too big for it. That ulcer went undetected at first because Stan, like so many people with diabetes, was experiencing neuropathy or a loss of sensation, making him more prone to develop the ulcer in the first place. Stan tried various offloading devices, but none of them worked. Then in November of 2017, he was invited to try something new. Kyle took me in right away and said, if you're up to it, we'd like to try this on you. And I said, if it's going to do something, man, then I'm game for that. And so I got into that program. That plan involved trying something called a total contact cast, something that has come to represent the gold standard when treating diabetic foot ulcers. The key is the cast completely disperses and offloads all pressure to the bottom surface of the foot, allowing healing to take place. So far we've uh, had a few individuals and uh, we have a 100% healing rate so far. There's better compliance with when you're applying a total contact cast. They can't take these casts off, so they're, they're with these offloading devices until they uh, come into the clinic the next visit. It's also the, the pressure that's taken off. So with the, the wound shoes, they don't take nearly as much pressure and stress off the tissues as the total contact casting system. With the older methods of offloading, there'd always be a chance that it can get infected. So the, the skin is broken down again, Stan, you have an ulcer. Um, that's where we might want to implement the, the total contact casting um, if you're up for that again. Stan is still dealing with recurring ulcers. But if it weren't for Kyle and the total contact cast, he was in danger of losing another toe. I was afraid of losing the whole foot instead of just a toe because I had so many problems with it. It, it. My foot got so large that I couldn't put a shoe on. I ended up w wearing a plastic bag and then Kyle addressed that and uh, we started the cast on it and it just only took about three casts and we could see a difference. I think it was a godsend for me to get into that program. Stan didn't know it at the time, but without access to health insurance, the only reason he was able to benefit from the Total Contact cast is because of a pilot program started up by Anka Brozik, director of the Community Diabetes Program in the Waterloo region. Well, I first learned about it through uh, our chiropodist. He was telling me a little bit about how people with diabetic foot ulcers could really benefit from uh, an offloading device. And he started telling me about total contact cast. And I asked him, I said, well, how many people do you see with diabetic foot ulcers? We are a diabetes program. And he said, well, Anka, we see quite a few people uh, that could use this sort of treatment. With a bit of surplus money from the local health integration network and a mandate to help low-income patients, Anka decided to give it a try. Stan didn't have third-party insurance, uh, so we were able to help him out. So we know that the total contact cast is the gold standard for diabetic foot ulcers. From the results that we've seen with our patients that we've put through this uh, treatment, rave reviews from the patients, the wounds heal 100%. And they completely heal in seven to nine weeks, whereas other treatments like custom shoes and offloading boots can take years or not even heal at all. Rosemary Hill, a certified wound clinician at Lionsgate Hospital in Vancouver, has also seen incredible results in her own practice. Life-changing. It is life-changing. And what I find the most exciting about the Total Contact cast is it happens actually fairly quickly. Patients in the first couple of weeks already right away see the difference. Still, access to the technology remains an issue. We need to bring awareness. We need to really 
unpackage the box and let people know. I believe actually health, I feel like our provincial health care system needs to know the dramatic impact of a TCC from a financial point of view, from even just, let, let alone, let's just talk about the cost of people who have an amputation. That in itself is thousands and thousands of dollars based on both hospital stay, rehabilitation, prosthesis, ongoing issues. Sandra Quayle was one of those patients who was in danger of losing a limb. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. But was lucky to meet a chiropodist who had experience with the total contact cast. I was in uh, the UK for a year and a half. I worked at a hospital in London and they utilize this all the time probably 70 or 80 percent of their patients had total contact casting done. When you start talking about amputations, you're talking about prosthetics, you're talking about wheelchairs, you're talking about decreased mobility. There's so much that if we could preserve their legs, do therapies like this, would, would save huge amounts of money. Indeed, the statistics are shocking. In Ontario alone, there is an amputation every four hours as a result of a diabetic foot ulcer. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye now. Certainly from a patient's perspective, the quality of life that I've been able to experience by having the total contact casting uh, done allows me to um, heal faster, to be able to uh, continue on with my daily life and experience a quality of life that I would certainly lose if I became one of those statistics going forward. Stan was also in the right place at the right time. The last layer here, we wrap around the foot. Luck just come around, right? And I met a man that I, I, who understands where my problems are with my feet. I wish I had met him before I lost the toe, because <laughs> I really didn't need to lose it. The good news is some provinces have finally figured out how important this technology is. In November 2017, the Ontario government announced more than $8 million over three years to fund offloading devices like the Total Contact Cast, a move that will save the province millions and get people like Stan back on their feet. There we go.